If you woke up Tuesday morning and said, I think there's going to be a big trade in the NFL, mm. you are correct, but that big trade does not involve a top 10 draft pick. Welcome to NFL Total Access presented by Ram Trucks. I'm Andrew Siciliano. That big trade involves Rob Gronkowski, who is coming out of retirement and he will reunite with Tom Brady in Tampa. The Patriots are sending Gronkowski, who turns 31 in three weeks, along with a seventh round pick to the Buccaneers in exchange for a fourth round pick. And the Bucs have found themselves a future Hall of Fame quarterback and in all likelihood a future Hall of Fame tight end as well. Ian Rappaport is our NFL Network insider. Ian, I don't think anyone is stunned that Gronk wants to come out of retirement. He has dropped hints. But how quickly this came together two days before the draft. Wow. Yeah, and Tom Brady has made no secret from anyone he talked to that he wanted Rob Gronkowski with him on his new team, wherever it would be. It's just a matter of did Gronk actually want to come back and could it happen? So here's how this one went down. In the course of the last couple of days, Gronkowski went to members of the New England Brass, went to Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft and said that he wanted to be back playing football, but for the Buccaneers. Because Gronk has said, and he's told me that he would only play with Tom Brady as his quarterback, no one else. So then it was just, could the Patriots and Buccaneers work out a trade? And similar to what the Raiders and Seahawks did with Marshawn Lynch a couple years ago, they worked it out to get Gronkowski off the retirement list and onto the roster. In the end, it's Gronk and a seventh rounder going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in exchange for a fourth rounder. For New England, it's basically a free fourth round pick for a player we could have anyway. And for the Bucs, it's one of the best tight ends to ever play the game. And he comes back to be reunited with Tom Brady. Thank you, Ian Rappaport. I mean, yeah. he's going to be 31 in a couple of weeks, as I said. He definitely can still play football. When last we saw him, Steve Smith Sr. and Steve Mariucci and Charles Davis, Rob Gronkowski was key in the fourth quarter to beat the Rams a couple of years ago in the Super Bowl. Steve, your reaction when you heard this one? Well, we, we've heard Ian give us uh, a ton of information. He's done a fantastic job today with the rap sheet of just letting us know um, step by step what has gone on. So, Ian, great job. I really appreciate that. But I'm shocked just how things have quickly changed for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and how on, you know, obviously it's all on paper. But these guys have become dangerous in the NFC South, in the NFL, and really with a lot of stay at home and we all kind of social distancing, man, this is the kind of news that just gets you going and lets you know this is why we need sports, this is why sports is so fantastic, and Gronk just kicked it off for us and a high impactful uh, storyline heading into the draft. Yeah, and imagine until we get to draft night itself in two days. Want to put up here what Tom Brady is going to be working with now with Bruce Arians in Tampa. He has Godwin and Evans, one of the huge reasons he said that last month as to why he chose the Buccaneers. If O.J. Howard and Cameron Brait stick around, they have a three-headed monster, Steve Mariucci at tight end. I know Randy Moss played with Tom Brady. They have had all kinds of talent there in New England. But is this the best team the best offense let's put it that way that he has played with <laughs> you, <laughs> you he's been to nine Super Bowls and he's won six of them and you're talking about is he better than those <laughs> kind of teams I don't think his offensive line right now is better than what he's played with and you mentioned Randy Moss who's in the Hall of Fame but as a group as a supporting cast whoa this is talk when you look at that list it's like the fountain of youth for Tom Brady because both Chris Godwin and Mike Evans had over 1,100 yards in receiving last year. We know what Gronk can do. He's been the best uh, tight end in the league since he's entered uh, way back in 2010. And so if they can maybe draft a guy number 14 and help protect Tom Brady a little bit better, this might very well be that great supporting cast that he's looking for. Now, they don't have a little slot water bug kind of guy, 
like a Wes Welker or a Julian Edelman. You know that water bug that I'm talking about? They don't have that guy. You know what you do? You put a big guy. You put a big guy in the slot, and that gives you problems too. This is a great supporting cast for TB12. Tell you what, guys, the thing that I'm looking at very quickly is the draft. Offensive line, Steve Mariucci just touched on it. Offensive tackle, I think, is an obvious need for them. If, it, if there's a big tackle there at 14, I think they take him. But if one of those top four tackles isn't there, I don't think they force the pick. They look at the defensive side of the ball. Is there a corner that they like? Is there another defensive tackle like a Javon Kinlaw from South Carolina? That would work for them as well. Go get the tackles and fortify the offensive line later.